The idea of boycotting settlement goods hurting Palestinians is a false and damaging understanding of reality. There is no understanding without context. Almost everything presented in Western media about Palestinians lacks context. And the, and the context is original dispossession 50 years ago, loss of land and livelihood, and continued uh, tightening screws of occupation and dependency. When the settlement is erected, large parcels of farmlands are then fenced as security zones for the security of these settlements. And also farmlands are destroyed or damaged or restricted through the access roads, around the access roads to those settlements. Settlements and settlement goods create and help maintain the occupation. Palestinians have lived under 50 years of military occupation and control. It is not boycotting settlement goods that hurts Palestinians. It is the occupation. The occupation has brought them nothing but loss of land, loss of millions of trees, food and water shortages and rations, poverty, terror, dispossession, and fear. We have about two million olive trees in areas that are restricted to the farmers for regular access. I, I'm in, I work in the olive sector, in the olive industry. I work with over 1,500 farming families. And the farmers who have olives in these restricted areas, due to the denial of regular access to, the, to 10 these farms, they are noticing, a, realizing a drop of about 75% in their crop. So they are only reaping 20-25% of their capacity of, the, of these orchards to give them. That becomes not viable to continue. When you look at these activities, you have to look at the whole economy. How does it affect the economy? Not about how many jobs we created. If we created a thousand jobs, and by creating a thousand jobs, we lost 50,000 jobs, then we are obviously causing a, a mess. Uh, a problem to our employment. The best way we have of helping to end the occupation is through taking economic action. Whatever progress the Palestinian Solidarity Movement has made in the last five to ten years has come through taking such action. And part of that is the boycott of settlement goods. I want to commend the United Church for its grasp of the true issues and taking a principled stand. Helping Palestinians means helping end the occupation. <laughs>